encompassing the media. Uh, raising money for breast cancer research. I want to say a huge congratulations to the people who've organised the Mother's Day Classic for years and years now and especially give a personal tribute to Mavis Robertson. Mavis passed away earlier this year. She was uh, really the inspiration for the Mother's Day Classic and now we're seeing uh, people walk all around Australia, 104 venues uh, right around Australia, people walking for, uh, to raise money for uh, breast cancer research. So a huge thank you to everyone who organised it and also everyone who came out today. Today we've seen uh, the government uh, uh, announce via the newspapers uh, that they intend to make changes in childcare. The Treasurer, Mr Hockey, was asked about the childcare changes on television this morning and refused to answer, or was unable to answer. You'd have to wonder, what is the point of this Treasurer? This Treasurer who seems to have been in witness protection all week. We've seen Scott Morrison out there, uh, we've seen other Ministers uh, out uh, answering media queries, but nothing from the Treasurer. The Treasurer really has to take responsibility for the fact that economic confidence in this country has declined, declined because of the unfairness and uncertainty from last year's budget. On the issues of childcare, of course, Labor understands just how important it is to support families who are under financial pressure, and especially those families who are paying a lot for childcare. So we'll look very carefully at the changes that the government has announced today. We know how important it is to support families with the costs of childcare, but we also know how important it is to make sure that there are enough childcare places available and that the quality of childcare is high. We want to support uh, a childcare system that's good for mothers and fathers who are going to work but we also want a great childcare system that delivers uh, early childhood education for children. In the end, what's best for our kids here on Mother's Day, I think we'd all say is it's our children uh, that are right at the centre of our concerns. So that's the way that Labor will assess the government's childcare changes. The government has also said that they intend to severely cut family tax benefits. I want to make it very plain to the government that Labor understands that families are under financial pressure. So we will not be cutting family tax benefits. We understand how important it is to support families. Tony Abbott said that this budget would not be about cutting family budgets. Well, he's broken his promise again. Yet again, we can see that there are very significant cuts to the family budget in this year's federal budget. For a family on around $65,000 a year with two children at school, this government is going to take $6,000 a year from their family budgets and Labor will not support that. If you don't support that, there's a chance that the childcare package wouldn't be able to, to go through. Would you be politically comfortable with then depriving many middle income earners of those payments? Well, the cuts the government wants to make to uh, family tax benefits are just unfair and Labor will not stand by and let this government hurt families in the way that they have been pushing for the last year. We've made it clear for more than a year now that we will not support cuts to families. So it's up to the government if they uh, want to find out uh, uh, how this should be properly funded, they should put forward some fair proposals. Labor has already put forward other proposals that would help the budget. Uh, the government has just ruled them out without even giving them proper consideration. So it's up to the government really to come forward with fair proposals to fund what is uh, needed improvements in the childcare system. Regardless of how it's funded, this um 
is aimed at getting people back in the workforce. Sure. Do you um, think it could succeed in getting people back into work? Well, we'll have a look at the detail, but of course we support uh, those mothers and fathers who are working, who want to work, who need to work uh, to pay their bills. Uh, but we also want to make sure that childcare is of a, a high quality. We understand how important childcare is for children. And so one of the concerns we have with the changes that have been announced is that it may in fact lock some families out of childcare. So we'll be looking very closely at those changes. We don't want to see children locked out of uh, high quality early childhood education. What types of families do you expect to be affected in that way? Well, for example, those families who have very part-time work, families with split shifts, families who are working irregular shifts who really need to hold on to a place, because, a childcare place because they don't know when their employer will be calling them in. So those sorts of families really need to know they'll have an affordable childcare place. Uh, we know that for ve very many vulnerable children, they need access to childcare and we want it to be affordable and high quality. They're the sorts of tests that we'll have when we look at the detail of these proposals. So are you saying that as it stands at the moment that you don't support these reforms? We uh, want to see improvements to childcare. We want to see affordable childcare, so better subsidies for childcare that go to families. Of course we want to see uh, changes like that. But we have to look at the detail. Uh, they've only just been put in the newspapers. Uh, we have uh, a treasurer refusing to comment on the detail of the government's childcare changes. A treasurer that doesn't seem to even know his own budget. Uh, this treasurer, honestly, is not worth the money he is being paid. On paid parental uh, leave, uh, there's talk that if people, women, get um, payments from their employers, then they won't get the, the government-funded um, payment. Do you think taxpayers should be paying for more paid parental leave if people are already getting it? Well, isn't it extraordinary, this government on paid parental leave, for two elections, Tony Abbott said to the Australian people that he wanted a gold-plated paid parental leave scheme that would have seen parents get $75,000 or $50,000, depending on which version you believe. Uh, he was then forced to dump that paid parental leave scheme and now we hear they've got another proposal for paid parental leave. The one thing I think parents know from Tony Abbott and Joe Hockey is that you would never believe anything they say about paid parental leave. I had an email from a father this morning, his wife's pregnant, she's in tears listening to the government making yet another change on paid parental leave. This uh, really does just show this government does not understand the pressures that families are under. Could increases in childcare payments offset the change to the paid parental leave? Well, we'll look at the whole package. We'll certainly look at uh, which families are going to lose as a result of the very significant cuts to family tax benefits. Uh, so we'll look at the package and how it affects different sorts of families. You said that Labor had put forward other proposals to fund childcare reform. Well, we've put forward other proposals that would help the budget, fairer proposals. Uh, so uh, Chris Bowen and Bill Shorten announced a little while ago uh, a way in which uh, multinational corporations operating here in Australia should pay their fair share of tax. We've also uh, made announcements about uh, people on very substantial superannuation uh, uh, retirement incomes should pay a fairer share of tax. Both of those measures are a fairer way of raising funds for the budget uh, than uh, hitting families that are doing it hard. Okay.